My name's Carl. I'm a real estate investor. I use Stessa for uh, my expenses and accounting uh, for the real estate business. Uh, I've been using it for about two years now. Um, then I give it a rating of about four. Uh, they still have some improvements. I'd like to see them uh, have some lease kind of lease building, lease management uh, portion to that, um, which would probably get me to go to five stars. Um, but so far, it's been so good. Some of the other methods that I was using before were just regular like QuickBooks or I've even used Tenant Cloud. Um, but really, I kind of combed out um, to use just Stessa um, in the beginning. Uh, I did try Avail um, while I was already using Stessa. Um, and I found that Stessa was a lot more user friendly and uh, had easy categorization features. It seemed to be user friendly both on the phone, iPad, and the desktop. Um, and it seemed to be <clears throat> very, uh, you can edit a lot of different aspects. They had a lot of different categories. And then you could also link your bank accounts to have it auto categorize um, different uh, purchases and expenses uh, automatically. And then the biggest thing I think was that it generates a tax report for my accountant, which is very helpful. Okay, yeah, so it was pretty easy to integrate it into the business. Um, pretty user friendly. I guess the only difficulty I said was knowing that there's a difference between the desktop version and then the regular link tablet version. There's some um, additional features which are helpful, but I didn't know that until using it for the first time. Um, but as far as integrating it, it went pretty seamlessly. Um, and getting the tenants in there was uh, the thing that took probably the most amount of time. And once that was established, it was kind of um, a lot easier expensing all the different tenants and the income and their expenses. I think in the beginning with using Stess, I was unaware of the multitude of features from the, like I said, differences before with the desktop version and the tablet version. Um, also, when using it, um, it just took a little bit of time. Uh, I think like uh, getting friendly with the app really like there was there wasn't any kind of like I don't think real good tour of it. So I would say really. Utilize it both on the tablet and the desktop version when starting out, so you can see those differences. Um, the desktop version tends to have a lot more uh, editable features that the tablet doesn't. Um, but at the end of the day, learn how to use both because it's nice to be able to use the phone quickly to expense things on the go and be able to take pictures or receipts and things like that.